So what is self in Python classes? Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about something that often confuses beginners in Python, the mysterious self keyword inside classes. You've probably seen it in code and thought, why do we even need this? So first, what is the self? In Python, self is just a variable name that refers to the current object we're working with inside a class. That's it. No magic, no hidden tricks. It's like saying me when you talk about yourself. If I say, I am teaching you Python, I'm talking about myself. In code, self is how a class talks about itself. Let's imagine we're creating a simple blueprint for a car. So here, first I'm creating a class called car. Think of a class as a blueprint. We're not making a car yet. We're just describing what a car should have. Now I'm writing a special method called double underscore init double underscore. This special method is also called a constructor. Now this runs every time we create a new car object. Notice the first parameter is self. This is just a reference to the object we're creating. So when I make a car object, the self will represent that specific car. Next, we have brand and color. These are just the values I'll pass in when I create the car object. Inside this method, I wrote self.brand equal brand. This means take the brand I passed in and store it inside this object. And the same with self.color equal color. Each car will now remember its own brand and color. And now I'm adding a method called show details. This method prints out the car's color and brand. Notice again, we use self.color and self.brand because we want this object's details, not some random variable. So far, we've only created a blueprint. Now let's actually create some cars. So here I am making two car objects, car one equals car, and inside it, we will pass the brand as Toyota and the color as red. So what this line does is it will create a car one object, which will have brand as Toyota and color as red. And car two has the Tesla brand and black color. So whenever I run this line, Python will call the constructor method for each car and store those details inside that object. And now if I call the show details method on each car, then the first one says this car is a red Toyota and the second says this car is a black Tesla. So you can see here, each car knows its own details all because of self. If we didn't use self, both objects would get confused and share the same data. So think of self like saying me or my in real life. I say, this is my phone. And you say, this is my phone. The word my is referring to a different phone for each person. And that's exactly what self does for objects. So to wrap up, what self really does is simple. It makes sure that all the data of the car class is tied to the current object we're working with. For example, when we create car one and pass in its details, self is automatically referring to that car one object. Everything we store using self is now part of car one. But if we're working with car two, then self is referring to car two. In short, the self always points to the object currently in use. And here's something interesting that many programmers don't know. You can actually replace the word self with anything else. For example, if I write my instead of self, the code will still work exactly the same way. What's this? If I run it, everything works as expected. However, I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's a best practice to stick with self because that's the standard you'll see in all tutorials, documentation, and professional code bases. Using self makes your code clear and consistent.